Okay, so uh, I'm sitting here uh, waiting for my tanks to fill up. We're gonna go over here and, and do a roof wash. While we're waiting for the tanks to finish topping off, I wanna talk about uh, basically batteries. So this, this pump over here, this pump right here, pulls from this battery. The pump over there pulls from this battery. The blue line, which I now use for both washing and rinsing, um, is, is definitely, having power issues throughout the day i mean i'm putting a lot of beating on it uh for previous seasons i would chem on this side on this battery and then i would rinse on this battery now i'm doing it both on this battery so this morning let me let me show you what i got here this is just a voltage reader there's a bunch of different settings on it we're just gonna be looking for the 12 volt okay so as you can see here we're getting 12.16 you're very low there you're getting very close to that 12 it's a 12 volt pump it needs 12 volts right so once you get down below that that or even close to that 12 range you're gonna have start having issues so let's put it on my chem battery here as you can see on the chem side which again is not used as much you know it takes very little spraying to get chem on the house it's the rinsing that takes a lot more time um 12.43 so there's a pretty decent difference here right um and you can definitely tell when looking at the power so one thing that i have done and this may help some of you if you're running a similar system um is i have this one this plug right here is for this pump which goes to this battery right here i added a second one here so i can just boop and plug into this one that one runs to the opposite side battery so once this battery starts going which today it definitely got low all i had to do is just unplug and plug into here and here just for reference this is the battery fully charged 13.5 okay um something else that i need to do one of these days is probably replace these batteries um i think that you know they were the original batteries that came with the skid um been hammering them pretty pretty hard i know i know even with a truck battery you know every couple of years you got to get a new one i don't really see why this would be any different so i think these might be on the end of their life or at least getting there i just don't think they're holding a charge as long as they should but um for right now to mitigate that just threw in the second plug and again let me get under this hose here it all comes in through the back so this one runs down to this switch over here and this one runs over here to this switch well just like the sign said welcome to another video i just spent uh a good 10 or 15 minutes over there filling up my tank because i just had like the strongest feeling that there was gonna be no water here and there's water and it's on for the season so <laughs> cool um what we're doing today is obviously we got to blow off this roof a lot of junk up there um and then there's a little bit of moss just from being on the ground it looks like the kind of moss that doesn't care how hard you brush it um we'll see when we actually get up there and put some bristles on it but most likely we're just going to be cleaning off this roof and then treating everything so uh it could be a very quick job it could be uh an hour hour and a half we'll see so let's get up there okay so really light moss it's really not a whole lot it's mainly debris up here a couple sections of moss uh <clears throat> very walkable i love that scoot right on around up here man i think i'm just gonna spray this it's a little bit of moss here let's just see what kind of moss we're working with Okay, so light, light, light brushing is gonna take that right up. So let's uh, Okay, we got everything brushed. This is a uh, really nice moss to work with. 
because uh, it just goes to dust as soon as you touch it. it. Doesn't take a whole lot. It's great moss to work with. So we're gonna get up here now and, and blow it off. You guys ever get the feeling that you're in danger? You don't know why? I looked up, I know why.
Now I just love when the sun hits that tank. Makes it look nice and bright and gold. Bada freaking bang. Look at that. Looks nice, looks shiny. Okay, we're gonna move on to another one here. Okay, that whole kick and boodle took about an hour and a half. It's uh, now 4.08. We're gonna go get ourselves into one more roof wash here. Shouldn't take too long, probably another hour and a half. We're gonna buzz right through it. Be home in time for dinner. Got one more to go. Actually, it seems like it's mainly just that front part. This looks pretty clean. There's nothing up there. Okay, a couple sticks, a little moss in the corner maybe. So let's get into this. It's been uh, I think a month and a half since I quoted this. I was just working on trying to work it into my schedule. I kind of forgot, but I think this is going to be a lot easier than I thought. So first thing we're going to do, ladders off, brush that down, brush the front, and then I'm going to see if there's a deck over there. I'm going to see if I can get on the deck from this roof. See if I can get a better vantage point, but I got pretty good eyes, and uh, from over there, I can't really see anything except for possibly that corner. So I'm gonna see if I can verify that. better than I thought um, an hour 
an hour not bad um let's see here actually when we left that job it was 405 wasn't it it's 459 right now can you see that when we left that other job i think on the camera i'll have to see when i edit but i'm pretty sure it was 405 459 so we drove here and did the dirty but i mean it was only these two sections so not really surprising um you guys were sitting right next to the pump you probably heard it pulsing a little bit i was just barely opening up the wand it's all cedar shake up there and it's all dirty even just like a couple little spritzes you can see where i wanted to clean so i just didn't want it to be too noticeable uh because i'm not here for the house wash i'm here for just the roof all up along there i was just like kind of just cranking it open just a little bit just so it wouldn't splatter so much on the roof so that seemed to help i'm gonna get cleaned up here roll up my hoses we're gonna get the ladder away um i'm gonna take a uh the fresh water hose over there we're just gonna irrigate all that bleach off the patio probably off the windows and stuff it was blowing a little bit check the trim and we're gonna be out of here